Hey, Howard Jacobson here, and I want to talk to you today about return on investment. It's been on my mind since I've been watching my own investments plummet and then start to recover with this whole pandemic. And I often talk to clients and students about their return on investment or their perceived return on investment for making changes to their lifestyle. And the most common thing I see is people are not getting the results they want. And when I ask them, are you getting the return on your investment of time, energy, willpower, struggle, environmental shifts, all the effort, most people admit that actually they're not putting in that much effort. They may be thinking about it. They may be worrying about it. They may be ruminating about it. They may be coming to talk to me about it. But in terms of actually taking action, when they look at it, the return is pretty much commensurate with the investment. Now, there are people who feel that their investment is not paying the returns they want. They're eating the right way. They're going for their walks. They're going to the gym. They're swimming, whatever it is. And they're still not losing weight. The numbers aren't going down on their um, blood pressure or their A1C. And in those cases, usually one of two things is going on. Either they are fooling themselves and they're not really putting in the investment or they're putting in the investment at some times and sabotaging it at other times. So let's say breakfast, lunch, and dinner all during the week are great, but on the weekend, they'll go out and have pizza and steak and chips, or they'll keep a box of cookies and they'll have it late at night. So that's a little bit like contributing to your 401k during the day, but then at night going and taking it out and spending it on gambling or something. You may not be investing what you think you're investing. The second thing is, you may be putting in a great investment and it's the wrong investment. It's not working for you. The protocol that you have adopted and that you're going for wholeheartedly might just not be right or right for you. So an obvious example is going keto or low carb. Sure, it works for a little while because you lose the water weight, but your gut bacteria will suffer if you're not having a variety of plant foods. And we know the effects of lots of saturated fat and meat on our health in general. So if you're doing something and you're all in and it's not working, then be pragmatic and say, well, let me look and see if there's something else that I could try. So if you're not getting the results you want, think about it in terms of return on investment. Are you making an investment? Are you making enough of an investment? Are you making an investment consistently enough? And is it the right investment for you? Have a great day.